In order to restore his power, John of Austria marched an army to Brussels. The newly formed States General Army decided to withdraw to the city of Jean Bleu, but before arriving, the invading army had reached the rear of the Dutch troops. An utterly lopsided massacre occurred. Though the States General Army already consisted of some foreign troops, the loss at the Battle of Jean Bleu motivated several foreign powers to intervene on behalf of the Dutch. The ranks of the army began to be filled with mercenaries from Scotland and England, as well as French Huguenots. Waiting for the arrival of another auxiliary force sent by the House of Tudor, the State's General Army anchored in the village of Raymond in the summer of 1578. Already outnumbered, John of Austria decided to attack Raymond before more reinforcements could arrive. John and the Spanish easily breached the enemy garrison on the outskirts of the village. The attackers rushed into the city after the retreating men. However, the defense was a ruse. The defenders had put the bulk of their troops and cannon on the other side of the village. After the Spanish chased the intentionally flimsy front, they were ambushed in the center of town by a Scottish force. Stripped of their shirts and singing psalms, they descended on the shocked Spaniards. John of Austria's army retreated south there, Catholic nobles pledged against Orange and the ambitious Calvinists. The commercially oriented changing that the Calvinists were making in cities, particularly allowing influence from craftsmen guilds, were laying the foundation of the future republic. At a cost, though, the Calvinists were burning monks at the stake on charges of sodomy in Ghent, and a wave of fanaticism had overtaken cities and ransacked churches in Flanders. The dispossessed Catholics wanted a separate peace with the Spanish. The two most southwestern counties, Atwa and Anno, formed an alliance called the Union of Eris. The pacification of Ghent was short-lived. The unification of the Netherlands was broken. As another mark of change, John of Austria died suddenly from disease. To replace his position as a representative of Spain, Alexander Farnese took command of the occupying army. Farnese, or the Prince of Parma, was the son of former Governor General Margaret of Parma. To mark his arrival, Parma's 20,000 Spanish soldiers began a siege on Maastricht in spring of 1579. Nearly a fifth of the soldiers died in two failed assaults on the city. So Parma then ordered to dig mines and collapse the walls of the surprisingly stubborn defenders. The inhabitants of Maastricht too began digging. Hundreds of soldiers perished as boiling oil was poured into their tunnels. Others suffocated as a result of the Dutch defenders pumping smoke or igniting fires underground. Finally, in June, a breach in the walls allowed a surprise attack in the night. And when Farnese was in bed with fever, his troops exacted their revenge. 6,000 citizens of Maastricht were massacred over three days of Spanish looting. The number of casualties equaled the Spanish fury just three years earlier. In the summer of 1584, a young courier by the name of Francis Guillon arrived to tell news of the death of William's French ally, the Duke of Anjou. The prince sympathized with the young Huguenot who claimed his father had died for his religious beliefs. When the conversation between William and the young man was interrupted with church bells sounding the start of service, William wondered why the seemingly pious visitor was not attending. The witty young man responded that he was ashamed to attend wearing his worn and ragged clothes. The story continues that William, seeing an opportunity for charity, furnished the young man with money to buy new attire. It was these funds that purchased the two pistols that Francis Guillon, later to be found out as Balthazar Gerard, used to shoot William in the heart when he returned to the prince's home on July 10th, 1584. <laughs> Though 
though the final days and moments of William, Prince of Orange, are shrouded in fictitious sentiments, there is a case that his final words are accurate. My God, have pity on my soul. My God, have pity on this poor people. It was 12 years earlier in 1572 that William had withstood the Duke of Alba and that the Wilhelmus was wrote. On May 10th, 1932, it was officially adopted as the Dutch National Anthem. <laughs>